Now you can create QR code with images using QR code condition control net models for stable diffusion 1.5 and 2.1 and you can run this within a Google Colab right uh, so Dion Timmer has released this control net QR code models on hugging face okay right uh, so these models have been trained on a large data set of 150k QR code plus QR code artwork couples some of the QR code examples are shown over here right uh, with you know I uh, like images right and these QR codes work I have checked it out right you can easily run this code within a Google Colab notebook right that's what I am going to do over here so what I've done is that I've installed transformers uh, basically I have to install these libraries okay uh, this control net model is part of diffusers right and this is the fine-tuned control net model for QR code so all you have to do is that you have to load this control net model create a uh, uh, what you call stable diffusion image to image pipeline from a pre-trained model so that is what is done over here and here you also initialize this particular control net model basically whatever you have initialized over here that pre-trained model and then you can actually generate images okay all I did was I just copied this code which is present over here uh, where you know you have a source image right and you have your uh, basically your source image is your QR image right and you uh, basically you are generating a, another image based on a prompt conditioned on this QR code image okay so what I said over here is my prompt is a black and white Taj Mahal with a QR code uh, negative prompt is I don't want an ugly disfigured or low quality or a blurry image right and this is the image which has been generated okay now this image has this QR code embedded in it and it works I have checked it out and it works so you need to play with this guidance scale and control net conditioning scale parameters to make it work and it depends on your prompt okay so I tried uh, uh, this is a black and white Taj Mahal with a QR code right then I tried another um, this thing where I tried with the Taj Mahal with the QR code and this was the color image which was generated right and even this worked okay when I tried to scan it with my phone it worked so it is as simple as this right the code is present over here I just copied the same code over here uh, if I look at this code it is just initializing the control net model creating a pipeline for stable diffusion control net image to image pipeline whereby you also you know uh, say control net is this particular control net model from this uh, checkpoint or you know and then um, you just have to actually there is a resizing for condition image um, basically resizing your input image to a particular size which is over here which is uh, you know 768 by 768 okay then you have your source image this initialization image is any image over here right and then what you do is that uh, you just have to generate this image using the pipeline okay whereby you specify your prompt and your control image is nothing but your uh, basically QR code image and then you can generate these images you know uh, QR codes with images okay which are aesthetically pleasing and there are some notes over here one is that uh, you know the models may not be 100% accurate uh, so you need to play with the control net weight to emphasize the QR code shape right uh, but uh, you need to be cautious because this weight also negatively impacts the style of your output okay so that is what is written over here uh, so you need to balance between style and shape okay and the control net weight might be required based on the individual input and the desired output as well as the correct prompt so again depending upon how imaginative you are with the prompts and these parameters of you know control net conditioning scale and guidance scale you will get more artistically and functional QR codes so this was a short video on how you can generate QR codes with images using control net and stable diffusion using this particular model from Dion Timmer 
I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting the link to this uh, page as well as uh, the collab notebook. You can check it out. See you in another video.